Nao viongozi wa kidini wamemrai kiongozi wa Azimio Raila Odinga kusitisha maandamano yaliyopangiwa kufanyika kwa siku tatu mfululizo huku wakimshinikiza Rais William Ruto na Odinga kutafuta suluhu kupitia mazungumzo. Viongozi hao wamesema wako tayari kuwaleta pamoja wawili hao kwenye meza ya mazungumzo ili kudumisha amani nchini. Na kama anavyoeleza Mary Mwoki, mashirika mbalimbali nchini yameongeza sauti yao yakitaka maandamano yasitishwe. Saa chache kabla ya maandamano ya Jumatano kungoa nanga na taifa liko katika hali tete. Viongozi wa kidini wameongezea sauti yao kwenye shinikizo za amani na kuirai upinzani kukomesha nderemo za vita na kutoa fursa kwa mazungumzo. Viongozi hao kutoka madhehebu mbalimbali wamesema tayari wameanzisha mazungumzo na pande zote mbili kwa juhudi za kuleta uwiano huku wakimrai kiongozi wa upinzani Raila Odinga kusitisha maandamano. With utmost humility we address the current crisis that has led to intended demonstrations and we extend our heartfelt appeal to all Kenyans to stand united in a spirit of reconciliation and hope. We have taken it upon ourselves to mediate between the two sides involved in the current impasse. Our efforts have been in, underpinned by a deep sense of responsibility towards the well-being of our beloved country, Kenya. We feel it is in the interest of the nation and the security of every Kenyan that this demonstration should be called off. At the same time, we are saying it is the right of the people who have called these demonstrations to be given the opportunity to sit down with the other side and we find a peaceful way to address those issues. The things that we are facing in this country, the madamanos, the protests and all that, that they will not, uh, they will not continue for long because uh, they affect the business in a huge way, the damage, the fear of, of going to work. Uh, so we are, we are praying in this uh, training that these uh, issues will be resolved. Huku hayo ya kijiri, shirika la maendeleo ya wanawake nchini limetoa wito kwa Rais William Bruce ruto na Raila Odinga kufanya mazungumzo ili kuepusha taifa na maafa ya uharibifu uliyoshuhudiwa kwenye maandamano yaliyopita. Mwenyekiti wa shirika hilo Rehab Muyu akisema kuwa kina mama wote kote nchini wanahofia usalama wa wanao kwani vijana ndio wanaoathirika zaidi wakati wa maandamano. Aidha wamesema kuwa japo ni kweli wa Kenya wanaumia kutokana na hali ngumu ya maisha kuna njia mwafaka za kutatua masuala ibuka. The current face we find ourselves in as a country is deeply worrying. So as custodians of the family, we implore you and His Excellency the former Prime Minister to have a talk that will cool down the political temperatures. For tomorrow's demonstrations, for the next three days, have worried all of us. We hear you, sir. Your voice is influential, Baba. And we firmly believe that Kenyans will listen to you even with or without demonstrations. Wafanyibiashara katikati mwa jiji la Nairobi nao wakielezea masikitiko yao na kuhofia kuwa endapo maandamano yataendelea kwa siku tatu mfululizo basi watazidi kukadiria hasara. Vuguvugu la vijana jijini Nairobi pia limewarai vijana wenzao kutotumika na wanasiasa kuzua vurugu na kuharibu mali. Vijana hao wanawataka vijana kudumisha amani na kutojihusisha na vurumai za kisiasa. Nauza nyanya Nyanya ni siku moja kesho imeanza kumwaga maji. Najiuliza hivi, kama mgomo ni siku tatu, hii nyanya nitafanyaje? Hii pesa yenye ninafanyia kazi nimechukua loan. Inabidi hii loan mwisho wa mwezi nadaiwa. We want dignity for our young people. We want them to be respected, not to be used in, in demonstration to cause violence, to cause chaos. And we are calling him out. They have continued to use young people for far too long and this time round we are watching. Macho yote sasa yanaangazia kwa vinara wawili Rais William Ruto na mwenzake Raila Odinga kuona iwapo watasikia kilio cha Wakenya na kutafuta suluhu ya kudumu. Mirimoki, 